Hi boys and girls, here we are, another fun day. Today we're gonna to be talking about the eight keys of excellence. We're gonna be reviewing the letter O. Oh, can't wait for that one. And for our movement, hopscotch. Are you ready to have some fun? I know I am. Let's go. Boys and girls, today we're going to be going over the eight keys of the excellence. And here they are, right here behind me, and I love these keys. And it goes like this, integrity, failure leads to success, speak with good purpose, this is it, commitment, ownership, flexibility, and balance. Those are our eight keys. Now let's go over them. Integrity is doing the right thing even though no one's looking. You always do that. Failure leads to success means don't give up. I know you could do it, right? Speaking with good purpose is not saying ugly things to others. Be nice, right? This is it is if you could do it now, do it. Don't wait until tomorrow. Commitment is when you make a promise to yourself that you're going to do it and you're going to do it right. Ownership. If you do something wrong, tell the truth. Tell them that you did it. That's owning it. Today we're gonna to go over flexibility and balance. Now flexibility is when things don't go the way that you want them to be. And you have to be flexible, things have to change. Like for example, let's say you go to the park with mom and mom is like, yes, we're going to the park, let's go. When you get there, the park is closed. Oh boy, so what are you gonna do? You have to be flexible. So what mom might do is, hey, how about if we go have lunch and maybe try another park? That's being flexible. Things are not going to go your way, but we could do things differently, right? Good. Balance. Balance is when you're doing things that are important for you, like doing your work, um, following the rules, telling the truth. That is balance. Make sure that everything around you, you're doing the right thing and it's important for you. Okay, boys and girls? Now remember, go out there and teach others about these eight keys, okay? Are you ready for that? I know you can do it, and I'll see you later. Bye. Hi, boys and girls. Are you ready for story time? Today's story is about a mom. See what moms do for you. And the title is All the Things My Mom Will Do. Are you ready? Let's go see. All the Things My Mom Will Do. Our family woke up late today. The dog that plugged the clock. The bus is honking up the street as I hurry down the block. Uh-oh, he's late to go to school. My mom is running after me in her pajamas and bare feet. She hands my lunchbox to the driver as I fall into my seat. <laughs> All the things my mom will do because she loves me through and through. Yes, look at that. She's running in bare feet. Oh boy. My head is feeling achy. My tummy's icky sick. I know what's going to happen next. Mom, I yell, come quick. She scoops me up inside the loop between her arm and body. Then zooms me like a rocket to land me at the potty. Oh, she's going to throw up because she's not feeling well. But look at mom. She lifts her up. She's running to the bathroom. Miss May picked me to be the frog in our school's upcoming play. Oh boy, it's gonna be a frog. Mom learns about my costume with the show one day away. Oh no, think mom's gonna put the costume together? Oh boy, let's see. Oh, she goes out shopping while I sleep, then sews and glues with speed. She's still sewing when I wake up to finish what I need. Wow, look at her. She must have been up all night. All the things my mom will do because she loves me through and through. Yes, she loves him. The, mo the mother's tea is soon to start. So far, my mom's not here. She said her work would end in time. I promise, she made clear. I start to cry as lunch begins. When yippee, here she comes. I don't see the speeding ticket. She's hiding as she runs. Look, mommy got there. She was sad, but 
Mommy got there on time. Our pet hamster's cage is quiet. I think he's feeling sick. He's not making squeaky noises or doing his best trick. Mom makes her bed the pull-out couch and wakes up around the clock to feed him orange juice from a dropper and rock him in my sock. So mom is taking care of the hamster. What a great mom. Oh, the stormy thunder wakes me up with a very loud kaboom. It shakes the house and lights the night and scares me in my room. Oh, he's scared of lightning and thunder. If you're inside, you're okay. I wake up mom and crawl in bed and take the middle spot. Look at him in the middle. She hardly sleeps along her edge because I kick and move a lot. Look at mom at the edge and look at him. Poor mom. All the things my mom will do because she loves me through and through. Yes. Our family's busy every day. Seems mom is gone a lot. She asked me please to understand. I pretend, but I do not. Mom peeks her head into my room and says, let's go to Rocket Park. No cell phone or computer, just me and her till dark. Oh, that was nice of her to go out to the park. It's called the Rocket Park. Nice, spending time together. Me and Charlie go out back to dig up worms and bugs. Ugh. We bring our new friends back inside and spread them on mom's rug. Oh no, look at the friends. They're bugs. <laughs> she screams and drops a laundry stack. Her eyes grow big with fright. Then she helps us build a cardboard house to keep them out of sight. Oh, that's smart. All the things my mom will do because she loves me through and through. Oh, great moms in this story. Me and mom are doing errands to what seems like everywhere. When suddenly, I can't remember where I've left my bear. Oh no, she misplaced this teddy bear. Mom forgets about our shopping and turns the car around and goes to the bakery, there's no bear. Library, no bear. The bank, no bear. Gym, I can find it. Post office, no bear. The grocery store, no bear. We visited seven places until lost bear is found. You see, mom was gonna go shopping, but she lost her bear. She made, she made a U-turn in her car, went to find the bear. What a great mom. The stars are twinkling in the sky when mom stops beside my bed to pick up bear from the floor and put kisses on my head. Oh, do you like it when your mommy kisses you? Yes. She Feels sits good. down then in the stillness and whispers in my ear. I try real hard to act asleep, and this is what I hear. I hope you know how much you're loved. I hope you know how much you're loved. Yes, through and through and through. And no matter what days do bring, I'll do anything for you. That's what mom told him in his ear. Boys and girls, that was a great story. Always remember, mom will do anything for you, okay? I um, hope you enjoyed my story today. I'll see you later, bye. Hi boys and girls, are you ready for this activity? Now this is something else we're making for mom. Remember, it's a secret, don't tell her, but you're gonna need help. Either dad, brother, sister, grandma could help you, okay? Are you ready? Let me show you what you need. You're gonna need this paper right here, and it says, a picture of mom and me. Okay, that's the one that you need, and you need a crayon and a pencil. Here we go. So on, in this rectangle, you are going to draw a picture of you and your mom. So of course, I'm gonna draw a picture of me and my mom, okay? So here we go, and ooh, let me use crayons since we have the crayons here, right? And then we're gonna fill in the blanks at the bottom, and I'll show you. Here we go. Um, my mom loves the color blue. So I'm gonna draw mom. This is my mommy. I still call my mom mommy. I don't say mom. I say mommy. Here we go. This is my mommy. My mommy has not really long hair, shorter than mine. Yes, that's my mommy. 
when I put buttons on her dress. Then I love the color red. So this is me with a dress, my hands, and I have longer hair. Oh, I can't wait to see yours. And mom is gonna be really happy. And I'm going to draw the sky because we're outside. And then I'm gonna do the sun. Sunny day for us. We're outside in the park. And that's my mom and I. Isn't that cute? Now, let's see what we're gonna do at the bottom. At the bottom, someone's gonna read it for you, but I think you could read it. There's some sight words in here. And then we're gonna fill in the blank. Here we go with the first one. My mom is blank years old. My mom is 80 years old. So I put the the number 80 there. My mom is funny when she plays with a hula hoop. When she plays with a hula hoop. Uh oh, I went out, that's okay. See, I wanna think of things that are funny that my mom does. <laughs> the next one, my mom's favorite food is, what is my mom's favorite food? Oh, it's pizza. And she loves pepperoni pizza. I should have put that there, but I put pizza. My mom always forgets. My mom always forgets her phone. Her phone. She always forgets her phone in the car. Always. And I have to go and get it for her. The next one. When I'm at school, my mom is um, at her house at her house yep she's at home the last one my favorite thing to do with mom is go shopping i love to go shopping with mommy and that's what you do you draw a picture of you and mom and then you answer you you fill in the blanks for each sentence is that cool have fun with it but remember don't tell mom but when you're finished Give it to her, okay? And give her a big hug, okay? Boys and girls, I hope you had fun with this activity and I wanna see it on Schoology, okay? I'll see you later, bye. Hi, boys and girls, are you ready to do the learning activity? We are going to be reviewing the letter O. Now look what I have here. I have my dry erase board because we're gonna be writing the letter O. We have capital O and lowercase O. Now in this container, we have items that start with the letter O. Here we go, there's a long sound, which is O, and then we have the short sound, which is R. So are you ready? But before we take anything out of here, let's write O. Capital O first. Remember, top to bottom and around. This one's a little tricky, huh? Top to bottom and around. Capital O, lowercase O. Remember, start at the middle. Top to bottom and around. The other O. Okay, now. We're gonna get things from here. Let's see what starts with the letter O. Let me erase here. Good job. Remember, practice at home, writing the letter O. You could get a piece of paper and a pencil. Here we go. Oh, I love this. This is like a surprise box. Right, Miss Amato? Right. Here we go. Okay, let me just mix it up and see which one is gonna be the long sound or the short sound. Oh, look at this. Oh, let me get a little closer. I'm gonna lay it down. This is an ostrich. Oh, oh, short sound, very good. Oh, I'm gonna stand him up. Oh, he's so cute. Let's go, another one, let's see. Oh, look at this, guys. I'm gonna get a little bit closer. This is an otter, otter. Oh, short sound, very good. What is he holding? He's holding a yellow fish. How cute, and that's the short sound. And they love to lay like that in, in the water. Okay, let me get something else. Ooh, we talked about this. An octopus. Ah, oh, ah, oh. short sound. Everything is the short sound. Let's see if we get something with the long sound. Okay. Oh, you guys know what this is? I love these. This is an overall. It's connected together, the pants and the top. Overall, long sound, very good. Okay, we have one more. Oh, I'm not even. Oh, this figure doesn't like these. these. This is an olive. Olive. Short sound. Okay. We need to find one more thing that has the long sound. 
Like, oh, oh, I need to find, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get something. Hi guys, I'm back. I found an oval. An oval has the long sound, and we'll put it right here with the overall. Boys and girls, this is good. Now I want you to look around your house and find things that start with the letter O. Either the long sound or the short sound, okay? I'll see you later, bye. Hi, boys and girls. Wait a minute. Mr. Mato, what are you doing? I'm drawing a hopscotch. He's drawing a hopscotch. Boys and girls, that's gonna be a movement activity. We are going to do hopscotch. Now, we could put in a hopscotch. How many squares did you make, Mr. Mato? Uh, I made 10. 10 squares. So you put one square, then two squares. One square, two squares, one square, two squares, one square. That makes 10 squares. Now inside the squares, you could write either letters, numbers, shape, sight words. I think that'd be a great idea. Oh, and you yeah. get to hop. Are you ready? We're gonna do something with this bean bag later on. But Mr. Bob, can I see what you use to make your hops? Oh bag? yeah, here we go, guys. Now, can you get a little bit closer, sure, Mr. Sure, sure, here we go. Now, that's a piece of chalk. This is it's Jumbo. A big piece of chalk. But you could get a piece of chalk and make it outside, okay? But you have to let mom and dad know, okay? So she used chalk to make the hopscotch. Now this bean bag is gonna come in use later on. So are you ready for hopscotch? I'm ready. We are good. Okay, here you go. There you go. Go, Mr. Mari. You may begin. You want me to go? Now, now remember, it's one foot. Oh, let me get closer over here. Yeah, one foot, two. When foot. there's one square, you only use one foot. Then two squares, two. Then one. And two. Let's see if she can do it. Thumb is model. See how she's doing? Good. That's great. Okay, so let me You're try. Gonna try? It. I'm gonna try this. So it's one foot, two feet. Yep. One foot, two feet. You could do it. Did I do that? Okay. Ready? One, two, one, two, one, two, one. Good job. You got it. Okay, boys and girls. Now, with the oh Mr. Mark, can you get the green bean bag? Oh, yeah. I forgot all about it. Let me take my keys off. So I can show you. Now, oh, Mr. Mario, if you want to stay right there okay. with it. Now, with the bean bag, now this is a cool trick. You could use a bean bag, a rock, a stick. You could use whatever you want. So you're going to toss it to the first square. Toss it to the first square, right in front of you. You cannot step on that square. Wherever you see the bean bag or the rock or the stick, you cannot step on that one. Now, watch how she's going to do it. She has to jump over that one. Two. Good. One, two, one, two, one. Yep, good job. Okay. Oh, guys. which one are yeah. you gonna do? I'm gonna go a little bit more up. I'm not gonna go to the same one. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Now Ooh. I could only do one foot because it's only one square. Ooh, that's Ready? I cannot touch where the eye where the thing is. Ready? Whoa! Oh, that was good. That was good. That was good. So you continue doing it up to the end. Do you like the hopscotch, Miss Amada? Did you have fun? Yes, that was we so had fun. fun. Make sure to get chalk and anything you want to toss inside the squares, okay, boys and girls? Have a good day. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. I'm a Bye. I go crack, 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 crack. I'm a duck. I go crack, 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 crack. I'm a duck. Hi, boys and girls. Today we're gonna sing Five Little Ducks Went Out One Day. Now, Mr. Maru, this song is about five little ducks. Okay. And they decide to go wander off and leave. And then mom tries to call them back. Oh, no. But I don't know what's going to happen. So we need to sing the song to find out what's going to happen. Now, boys and girls, you could join me in singing this song if you know it. But if you don't, don't worry about it. Just listen to it. And then you could practice and do it at home. Are you ready? See what happens with these five little ducks. Ready, Miss? I'm ready. Five little ducks went out one day Over the hills and far away Mother duck said quack, quack, quack And only four little ducks came back Uh-oh Four little ducks went out one day Over the hills and far away Mother duck said quack, quack, quack And only Three little ducks came back. Guys, she started with five ducks. Now she only has three. Let's see what's gonna happen, oh boy. Three little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, quack, quack. But only two little ducks came back. Oh boy. Two little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, quack, quack. But 
but only one little duck came back. How do you think mommy's feeling? Oh man, I bet she's really sad. Oh, one little duck went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said, quack, quack, quack. And no little ducks came back. Oh, Sad mother duck went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said, quack, quack, quack. And all of the five little ducks came back. Yay! Guys, they came back. Now, boys and girls, Mom was very sad because her ducks were disappearing. Those only coming back a little at a time. But they came back. But remember, stay with your mom and listen to her, okay, boys and girls? I hope you had a good time. I'll see you later. Bye. Hi, boys and girls. Today, we had such a good time. We talked about the eight keys of excellence. And the two keys that we learned about were flexibility and balance. Now, flexibility is when you're willing to do things differently. Not the same thing over and over, but you're willing to do them different. I like that. And balance is when you do things that are important for you. Okay? Now remember that you're still living above the line, but things that are important for you. We read the book, All the Things My Mom Will Do. Yes, there's a lot of things that your mom will do for you because she loves you. And for art, we drew a picture of ourselves and our mom and we filled in the blanks. I can't wait to read what you put down for your mom. We reviewed the letter O and the letter O has two sounds. It's A and O. Go around your house and go find some O words, okay? And for our movement activity, we played hopscotch. I wonder what you put inside your squares, huh? Either letters or numbers or sight words. I hope you had a great time today, boys and girls. I'll see you later, okay? Bye.